This matrix has two patterns of logic that will help us find our missing answer. However, it is not laid out in our columns, rows, or diagonals. It is randomly distributed throughout the matrix, so we need to look at the matrix as a whole to find uh, these patterns of logic. When I look at the matrix as a whole, I can see that there are three different types of triangles. An empty triangle, a triangle with a line vertically through the middle, and a triangle with a V type shape within it. I also see that there are three different uh, forms that these triangles take. A complete whole triangle, uh, a triangle that's missing its base, and a triangle that's had the top half cut off so that it makes a trapezoid. Here I've color coded the elements that match that first pattern of logic I talked about. So elements three, four, and nine all match the triangle with a V in the middle. So our missing element should have a V in the middle, letting us eliminate answer choice D and E. Here I've color coded the other pattern of logic we identified, and we can see that elements 1, 5, and 9 are all trapezoids. That lets us an eliminate answer choice C. Looking at the rest of our answer choices, we can see that B is missing the top half. That's not a pattern we have noticed so far in this matrix. Usually the bottom is what's missing, so we can eliminate B. And A is a combination of the trapezoid and the vertical line pattern, which again, we haven't seen. This isn't a building block matrix. This is a random matrix, so it can't be A either. It has to be answer choice F.